let's uh, look at uh, unit three the roles and relationships in family business in matters of control in matters of power relations resistance family business you could say that they are rather classified and is repressive when it concerns uh, non-family members and paternalistic that is to say that uh, in family business the issue there is a lot of cohesion amongst family members so much so that the the non-family employees which they of course bring in to the family business because of their expertise they are always made to understand that they are outsiders because most of the family businesses most information in the family business are rather classified and it uh, is a unnatural and uh, out of culture for a family member to side with a non-family member in a matter especially when it concerns uh, you know uh, business conflict issues so no matter the level of expertise an outsider always is always reminded that he is an outsider and uh, it, it doesn't matter what the expert has uh, up in the sleeves there are certain issues that even though that the issues are about business they will finally settle it in the family house and then an employee may be treated as a scapegoat so this, for this reason you know the one could say the uh, family businesses are repressive it represents contradiction and negative implications for equality and diversity in organizations so even if government has a law to treat people equally and when it concerns family business and there is any form of conflict the non-family member they don't ever win because when that matter comes all the family members will join together against the non-family member so even if there is a law from government you can't call to tell uh, anybody how to run his family business so it uh, the relationship there you know waxes stronger when it concerns somebody outside the family so in conclusion we say that family is about relationships whether inside a family house or in business family is family this mixing of relationship is a delicate act a balance of emotion and objectivity is involved so it depends on where this balance is tilting if it tilts to emotion the, the the business may suffer it deals to objectivity relationship will suffer so it's a balancing act that the uh, people if you want the family business to grow the way it's supposed to grow you have to do a good balancing act between the emotions and objectivity between personal and business concern between unconditional love of family members and their workplace performance so it is a double duty that requires double efforts till i see you again bye